So you regret prosecuting Erica Kane? Oh, hell no, man. She broke the law. And no one should be above the law. I'm just trying to get the lady back as quickly and as safely as I can. Oh, it's your head. Well, it's, it's more her head I'm worried about. Sometimes you feel like you're you're trying to do the right thing, and it's like you're you're pushing an eight-ton boulder up a mountain or something. I know that boulder. <laughs> oh, yeah, had it with me the last twenty years. You you have fought that battle, haven't you? No. Mm. Um, Look at you. Could have been easy for you to get where you are. No, no, I've been pushing for a while, and the boulder gets bigger sometimes. But on the other hand, I think we had it better than our dads have it. And hopefully our kids will have it better than we have it. And we got a long way to go, but you keep pushing. Amen to that. So, what about you? Um, come on, making a name for yourself as a cop on the police force in Pine Valley? You were like the, what, the super fly in the milk. That couldn't be easy. <laughs> no, I got to tell you, man, the best thing that ever happened to me was landing in Pine Valley. Because well, you met your lady? Yeah, that, plus, uh, you know, growth. I lost my attitude. It's funny, though, when you put it in perspective, it's sometimes I feel like, like we put the most pressure on ourselves. Tell me about it. Constantly trying not to slip up. Yeah. The three loves. You know, do what you love, be with who you love, and leave something you love behind. How do you change the world? How do you make it better? Well, it's obviously worked for you. I mean, uh, your reputation is stellar. Thank you, brother. In my family, failure was not an option. Well, you know, there's a lot of effort and sacrifice that goes into it when you're trying to make the world a better place. And then you ask yourself, what is the personal cost? Success always has the price. A man just has to figure out how much he's willing to pay. And how do you do that? How do you determine? what your bottom line is. Well, for me, when I was a kid, a knucklehead kid, I was on a mission, actually a downward spiral. And it was Angela who helped define for me the construct of never let anything stand in your way. Can you see that? That's why my job offer for you should be a slam dunk. Don't let stuff stand in your way. Yeah. 20 years ago, that would have been right up my alley, but going through what I've been through, my perspective has changed. It's much clearer for me now. What matters for me is my family, my wife, my kid, throw in a couple of top-rate friends. That's all I need. For me, that's God, you know? Yeah, my, uh, my circumstances are a little different. My situation, one I had no control over, and the other I had a direct hand in creating. What do you mean? I lost my wife in 9-11. She was in the South Tower. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't know. Just me and my son now. Wow, that's a good thing. At least got each other. Mm. That's another way we differ, man. Uh, I think I, I lost him too emotionally, and it's, it's nobody's fault but my own. You're burning up. We've got to get some food that's in you. Hello, this is Dr. Hubbard. Listen, I need to hydrate a patient. Get me Toradol, 60 milligram IV push, and get me set up with a 1,000 cc bag of IV saline. Thanks. All right, come on, Jay. See, babe, that's, I just wanna see. It's JR, come on. Yes. Mom, what is Where it? Uh, oh, this tip is 104, we've gotta knock it down. Can we figure out what's causing it? Yes, exactly. What was it? Infection? Well, that would be my educated guess, but we've gotta get the test results. Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, he's stabilizing. We've gotta get a line on him. He should be responding soon. But listen, you might wanna call your parents. What the hell is that? I don't know, but for his sake, we better find out and as quick as possible. And you just gotta stay up, you know, stay optimistic. I mean, look at me, I found my way home. Your boy will too, I promise you.
Sam, about this job. No, 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 wait, no. No, you don't have to tell me now. Uh, yeah, I do. It's a huge honor, this offer. I got to pass. And I want to thank you for the drink. All right, man. Have it your way, brother. Oh, whoa, 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 one second. Yeah. Great, we're getting closer. Anything on Morales or Kane, you let me know. That's right. Yeah. No, no, come on, tell me. You don't miss any of this. You know what? Not as much as I missed my family. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Hey, Jesse. You're a lucky man. Damn straight. Thanks again. Later. You too, brother. <laughs>